Alright everybody welcome to your 16th PHP tutorial in which we'll be learning about something called optional arguments in functions. Now in the last tutorial we looked at how you can pass arguments inside a function and make use of it to create dynamic results every time with different kinds of arguments but in this tutorial we'll make use of something called optional arguments. Now let's say you want to create a function which at most adds three number but at uh, or at most adds four number but at minimum add at least two numbers so let's say if I type A, B, C and D and I write echo A plus B plus C plus D now what happens is or I guess I forgot to give it a name add this so what happens is if I type add this one two three four and uh, if I view it in the browser so it will give me 10 which is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 but the problem arises when we supply less arguments than there are so it gives us an error or uh, not an error but a warning so to fix that what you can do is you could actually make the arguments optional and by making arguments optional is that if the value is not supplied in the calling of the function you could give it a default value when this function is called so how to do that well let's say if D is not called then assign it a default value of 0 if C is not in the argument then assign it a default value of 0 if B is not in the argument, assign it a default value of 0. And if A is not in the argument, assign it a default value of 0. So let's see what happens now. When I reload this, no more errors. Because A, B and C are present, these values 0, 0, 0 are not used. The values which are being called at the calling of the function are used. If A, B are present, then we get 3 and these values are not used. So even if these are used then plus zero plus zero doesn't make any difference and if I call just one then only one will get and if I don't call anything at all then we'll get zero but with nothing with no default value will surely pop up into some errors as you can see so you see that it makes a difference by s applying some optional some default values to the arguments and these arguments are called optional arguments obviously and let's say I must share this trick with you let's say you want to have a variable number of arguments so let's say you want to add numbers as long as there are arguments so let's say I want 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, uh, all these numbers to be added together and I want 1 2 3 all these numbers to be added together again so you can create a long list of arguments and set everything to zero so in PHP what we have is something known as a default variable argument we'll make use of something called variable length arguments to you know actually pass multiple arguments so let's take a look let's say I want to create a function which would be something like this only which accepts a variable length argument uh, let me just fix these um, okay so we're good to go now let's say I want to have a lot of numbers but I don't know how many numbers the user would pass so what I'll do is I'll type three dots and an argument let's say my nums now what this is, this is something new in PHP 5.6 this was not available before but this is now a variable argument so it would accept as many arguments as you want it to so let's see how it works now inside the uh, function body what I can do is I can make use of for each because my nums is actually an array of arguments so I'll, what I'll use is my nums as number just like we used to do in the arrays 
and what I'll do is sum is equal to sum plus number and here I would initialize sum to 0 so now you can see the things happening so what's happening here is we are first of all sending n number of arguments here this these all arguments are converted into one single array of any type then we are initializing a variable to 0 then we are running a for each loop my nums as number then we are adding that to sum and then we are echoing the sum so now let's reload this okay all right I guess I don't have a PHP 5.6 maybe This is like this. Oh, okay. So I have PHP version 5.5.15. So if you have downloaded our latest version of PHP, because I have the ZAMP from like um, one and a half year or so. So if you have a latest version of PHP which is 5.6 or above then this code would work like a charm but it's not working in my case because I have an older version of ZAMP so I guess I could show you guys by uploading this file on server so let's say okay so I guess my internet's not working right now well no worries I'll show you guys how this file is working later on you could even try this yourself but this would surely work these three dots means variable arguments because I have worked on a lot of servers and I have used this thing a lot but <laughs> I didn't knew that my own localhost is um, not 5 point it's 5.5.15 so this should be 5.6 or above then this code would work like a charm so I'll fix this up and I'll show you how it works soon maybe in the next tutorial so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching